This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Project Design a Game, Part 5. And here's what I got so far. Yeah, all my sprites are in the center and kind of blob together, but we'll change that shortly. So, display boards. Now that your backgrounds are working, you can you add your display boards. Most games have a scoreboard, but you might also want to have about the player level or lives remaining. Look at Lesson 6, Puzzle 6 for an example of how to make a scoreboard. For each display board, create a function to display the information. Call the function in the draw loop. Be sure to test your scoreboard by changing the starting value of the variables and making sure your board also changes when you run the code. Sounds good? So, we already have score. I created that variable. Now, I want to add to it in the case of something. Does it specify create a function? Okay, so it does want us to create a function for this. So to create a function, boom, functions, whoop, and I'm going to say display score. And then I'm going to go over here to drawing and grab text. There we are. And drop it here. And I want to display, well, first a string, right? So in quotes, the word score, I definitely want to show. And let's see, where do I want it? Hmm. Well, you want it in the top corner. So maybe a 10 for X and a 10 for Y. I'm going to try that out. Okay, I'm going to hit run to see. Oh, I never called the function. I need to call it in my draw loop. Remember, functions only, this code's never run if I don't ask it to be run. So I got to call it up here. Um... Whoops. Display score. Oh, I have a typo. It's really small, but you can see it. Okay. So let's do then drawing. We're going to do text size. What if we do 25? Ooh. Better. But then we're going to need it to go down. So 25 maybe. Perfect. And then actually I'm going to set that to 20. Let's pick our fill. Um, I'm going to have this be just black so it's visible. And then let's pick our score. So now we need it to display the score. So I'm going to grab text again and instead of doing a string I'm going to do the variable I already created the variable at the very top score and set it equal to zero okay I don't want it at 10x I want it at mm, and remember this can become double or triple digit so I'm going to say 80x we'll try and then same spot for y mm, that's probably too far Maybe something like that, but since it can go into the double digits. Okay. And let's just check. I want to see it as double. Yep. All right. That will be fine. Oh, does it... Ah. Of course, it's not going to get any closer. Okay. That looks good. I want my score to be zero. And then we haven't set up the event that score would increase. Call the function. Yep, and it does change. So we'll have to add an if statement in there for when events occur to change that score, but we're not there yet. So here's my display score function. And make sure to call it in your draw loop. Great, let's keep going.